Hey guys, welcome back to Speed of Light. And today we're gonna learn how to make a timer. So, not a stopwatch, a timer. Okay, so this is again very easy, nothing complicated. So, just to make it easy for the beginners, this is nothing complicated. So, I again suggest that beginners don't do this because uh b because i mean yeah this is this is a little bit complicated for the beginners but it might be not that c complicated if you al already saw the app lab but anyway let's go to the design tab and grab three l labels so one two three all right so this is label underscore time and this will be just label one or you can just name it as label underscore title all right so now we're gonna do a timer oh no sorry timer application all right so next we're gonna Go, we're gonna go all the way down by increasing the font size. So let me just scroll down. All right, so font size is right here. Now I'll increase it to about 40. 40 should be good. All right, so 40. Now we'll scroll all the way back. Then the width, so we'll first set the location to zero to zero all right so now we're gonna drag the now, now we're gonna uh increase the width all right so now that's looking good so then we're gonna set this to yeah that's good i don't even know what font size set it to but that's good enough so let's increase the width and that looks good now let's set the text color to black all right so this is the black color then this is a label underscore times underscore up all right so we have zero zero text here but then we're gonna increase the width to about 140 and then height 100 font size should be 36 which should be okay 36 and font and the text color should be red so then we'll go to text and just test it out so time's up looks good to me so this is optional again this time's up label is optional you don't really need it but i'm just putting it because uh because i just want it but anyway for this last one i'm gonna put time left so let me just put the space time left good so now we're gonna increase the so first again we are going to put in this corner then we're going to increase the height to about all the way to the bottom we have 55 but we're going to put 70. all right so now that should be good now we're going to increase the width to all the way to to this end so yeah um but Let's go. So, do, oh my God, that's so fast. All right, so now that's enough. So 320 by 70, that's the height. All right, so now we're gonna scroll down. All right, so let's, let's like check the font size. It should be, uh, the, the font size should be 36 
Yeah, 36 should be good. So 36 or maybe 40. 40 should be good. And then the text color will be white. All right, so white. Background color will be uh, green. All right, so next we're gonna uh, we're gonna scroll all the way up, go to the code tab, and then declare a v variable called time left. All right, so this variable will have the value of 10. So whatever value you're setting this to, that's that's it. That's the number it'll count down from. So whatever value time left hand, it will count down from that. But let's just put the time loop over there, and it will do a loop for every uh one thousand milliseconds. So let's go to the variables tab, and let's assign the um time left oh no wait sorry so time left variable to let's go to op operators and grab this i mean subtract block because you're counting down not counting up so that's the reason why i'm grabbing a subtract block so time left minus one all right so now you're missing also one thing and that is setting the text so let's set text at label un underscore time to um so let's delete these codes and then let's go to mat and grab this add operator so but we're gonna put codes here time left oh god no sorry so time left all right so next we're gonna add uh what our value time left has so time left all right so next we're gonna go to the control and grab this if block so then we're gonna go to mat again and then this will we'll grab a equality uh, operator aka that's just telling if this variable e equals to this variable value so yeah it's just that simple but anyway time left equals to zero so the reason why i'm putting this condition is because it will just count down to the negatives too so that's the reason why but then we're go also gonna stop the time loop first I, I, we're gonna stop the time loop so that i won't count down to the negatives and then we'll go to ui controls and set text at a uh, label underscore times uh, underscore up to times up. All right, so next uh, we're gonna, this is basically, basically it, but if you want again, you can add a sound to when, uh, so, so when the value is to zero, you can add you can add a sound. I'm just gonna add a random sound because I'm not really, you know, that much interested in sounds. But let me just go to background. Whatever, that's too long. All right, so let's let's pause that. That's that's way too long. Oh, okay, so let, let me just scroll down and get my projects because I just lost it. 
All right, so let's go to this, the top, the topmost one. All right, it's loading. So let's increase this screen size again. All right, so let's get back. So we'll just play a random sound that doesn't last very long. So let's go to choose and let's go to alerts and we'll just we'll just, we'll just play that so run and then it'll count down so uh, again you can add another sound when the time loop starts but i think that's not needed so as you can see it made that sound but the first Original version is actually not that. So whatever I cr cr created just now was just a version of uh, so that's not the original version. This is the original version. So let me just try this out. I've done many, by the way. So oh wait. I did something with this, so let me just erase this. Yeah, probably should have not done that, so now let's show the blocks. Yeah, so let's clear this. I just did that for fun, but yeah, so this is the original version. All right, so now this is the original sound, so so that's the original sound I'll just copy and paste it into the one that I just did